Hi there! Today we're going to go over a setup for level 90 Paladin Cross hotbars for players who play with a controller on a PC or console. You do not have to be level 90 to set this up if you want to get a jump start now on a consistent cross hotbar. A few guidelines. You'll only have to set this up once and will work for any content level you play. You'll never have to adjust for syncing purposes. These are my personal setups and you are free to use or change whatever you need that fits you. I am using a double stacked cross hotbar as I believe it's the most effective and the video will be linked down below. If you want an entire full breakdown setup guide that is extremely detailed, comment down below after to let me know that you want it. Lastly, I build these with the mindset of having the most important abilities with low cooldowns on the bottom cross hotbars for ease of access, while the longer and less used abilities are on the second cross hotbar. I generally separate these into four sections in my head, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. Right trigger one is for GCD damage dealing and abilities. Right trigger two is for damage mitigation and job abilities. Left trigger one is for AOE GCD combos and job abilities. And left trigger two is for job abilities and extras. Using this setup, let's build out our Paladin cross hotbar one section at a time. Right trigger one is always our main GCD combos. For Paladins, we have Fast Blade, Riot Blade, and Royal Authority, upgraded from Rage of Haloni. We also get Goring Blade, which is a variation off our GCD combo to which we will place here as it's a damage over time. We also have Atonement to which procs off Royal Authority, which is why we keep it on the lower cross hotbar for ease of access. Moving to the right trigger D-pad, we have Holy Circle, Circle of Scorn, Flight or Fight, and Expansion. I don't think I'm saying that right, or previously known as Spirits Within. I keep my weaving and damage abilities on the bottom right trigger as you usually weave these in between your GCD combos, so we want them real close by. Holy Spirit is here for when we get our stacks of Requiescat, Requiescat, and is our single target for when we go into our magic DPS side of our GCD combo for Paladin. Right top trigger is our cross hotbar 2, which is for damage mitigations and job abilities. I always keep Ramper and Reprisal in the same position for all tanks. This also goes for the special tank ability that each tank has that is a 120 second cooldown, which for Paladin is Sentinel. This makes it easy to weave between GCD combos for raids and boss battles, as well as keeping it consistent between all tank cross hotbars. Right trigger 2 d-pad is our gap closer, range aggro, interject, and invulnerability. Range aggro, invulnerability, and interject are always in the same spot for each tank as well. Gap closer for paladin I just put here to keep it close but it is a flex spot. Left trigger is always our AoE GCD combos. I generally like to keep AoE to the left trigger and single target to the right trigger if at all possible for all of my jobs rather tank, healer, or DPS. We have our two AoE GCDs, Total Eclipse and Prominence, our AoE Magic Attack, Holy Circle, and Confidior, which turns into our level 90 blade combo. Left Trigger D-Pad is our job abilities that we use our job gauge, which is Oath, and Requiesca, which gives us access to our higher tier rotation. Honestly though, these can be moved around as you generally are only using Holy Sheltron for Paladin, so cover and intervention are flex spots for you to put something else. Lastly, our left trigger too is our job abilities and roll abilities like Provoke, which is in the same spot for every tank, while the other three are flex spots. For Paladin, I keep Clemency here as I rarely have to use it, Divine Veil, which is super helpful to our healers, but has a longer cooldown and Passage of Arms, which is great for stack markers. Our left trigger 2 D-pad is the same for every tank as well, which is Arm Lengths, Limit Break, Low Blow, and our Tank Stance. These are more because they're situational and or I don't want to accidentally press them like Tank Stance and Limit Break, which is why they're all the way over in the corner. Now we have our full setup for our level 90 Paladin. Now again, these are highly personal and dependent on your playstyle, but I generally find most people like my cross hotbar setup as it's more based on just objective understanding of the job. Keep the higher press buttons available on the lower controller hotbar and long cooldowns on the top controller hotbar. 
these can adjust if you're doing savage content as some of these things aren't as important but i have been playing with a similar setup for cross hop bars for a long time so hopefully it can help you start somewhere and bring a little order to the chaos that is cross hop bars if you notice i don't have shield bash on my cross hop bars because i don't really feel like it's necessary as we do have low blow which is a ogcd and weavable and shield bash is not there are only a few dungeons where you're actually using the stun this also goes for the roll ability shirk i have never ever used this in casual content so i don't believe that it needs a space on my hotbar especially as we run a little tight if you're wondering where i have abilities like sprint i keep this on a separate hotbar which you can access via any job as every job is going to need sprint which for me is my right trigger to left trigger, and that will bring up a separate hotbar for my mount, sprint, teleport, and all sorts of other abilities that I use for every job, no matter tank healer or DPS. The reason that is important is because you want only your cross hotbar one and two, which can be shown in the video that I linked down below in order to set up your cross hotbars to be all of your job action and abilities. You do not want to take up any of the space for mount, sprint, or emotes, as it's just too invaluable real estate for actual job actions. If you got any value on this video, then don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button down below. And if you want to see my other job cross hotbar setups, then comment down below which ones you want to see next. Want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials? Then you can click here.